So now we're going to move into navigation. So let's go ahead and save as. So we're going to take a look at actually two tags. Um, one of which is new with HTML5 and as the nav tag. And another which I had considered bringing up earlier in the series because it's technically one of the basic tags in HTML. It's been around forever. But I wanted to wait a little bit to just get these real simple tags taken care of because this kind of this tag kind of has um, properties that none of the other tags have. And that is the A tag or a lot of times I'll refer to it as a link tag. Um, some people might call it a hyperlink but basically it's a link. So first, after our header here, we'll go ahead and create nav tags. So nav. And in here, we're going to create our first link. Now, as I mentioned, I called it an A tag. And that's because to make a link, the tag is actually an A. And this can be kind of confusing. One might think, why isn't it just called a link? And there is actually a tag in HTML called the link tag, and that's used elsewhere. The reason it's called A stems back from the early, early days of HTML and web pages, and it actually stands for anchor. Because way, way back, before we really even had websites, we just had web pages that were really, really long. And, um, and you still see this in some pages today. But what an anchor did was allow you to create places on a page that you could link to. So if you wanted to link to something further down on a page, you created an anchor tag that you could click on and take you down. And that term just kind of stuck, even though we, we, we don't use those as much anymore. And these tags are pretty much used to navigate throughout a site or to other sites. So I'll continue to refer to it as a link tag or just a link and I'll actually show you how to make an anchor later on. So this being our main navigation or menu, uh, we're gonna need to have some links in here and we're gonna use just kind of some default links, some links that you see on most every web page. First being home. So what goes in between the two tags is what you want to show up on the page, what is clickable. So the word home is gonna be clickable and let's just go ahead and create a couple other ones. So there's two words in there. So about space and us is all going to be clickable. So now we have a nav that has three links inside of it. Home, about us, and contact us. Now, eventually we want these to link to, again, either an anchor later on down the page or to another page on the website. So let's go ahead and take a look at how these look in the browser. Let's go ahead and save this. Flip over to the browser. Change this to 14. Take a look. Okay, so there they are. Now this is an example of elements that are not block elements. These are inline elements. They do not span across the page. They're going to set next to each other. Even though in the code they're stacked above each other. They're going to show up side by side and without any real spacing. The first thing you think of with a link would probably be that it's clickable, as I noted. And when I hover over these, they're not clickable. And that's because there's one property that you absolutely have to have for a link to be clickable, and that is the href property. So inside the opening link tag, we're going to do href equals, and like every other property, two quotes. And we need to tell this where we want it to go. Now we really don't have anywhere for it to go at the moment. So what I'm going to do, if we actually had a website set up with other pages, we might put in home.html. And what this would do is when we click on it, it would open up home.html in the browser. 
Now we don't actually have any of these pages made, so we're going to put a character in here that is kind of like a placeholder. It basically tells the page, yes, this is a link, but do not go anywhere. And we're going to put in the hashtag symbol. Now what this is actually used for is for anchors. If we we're going to link to an anchor further down the page, the way you do so is with hashtag and then whatever the anchor name is. And that's how it knows where to go on the page. But since we're not giving it a name, it's just going to stay put. So again, because we don't have any pages, let's just go ahead and take this property and paste in these other two links here. So we'll go ahead and save, take a look in the browser, and there you go. Now we have that default ugly blue and an underline, which, which is kind of the universal default look of a link. By looking at this page, you should already know these are probably items we can click on. Sure enough, our cursor changes to a pointer and we can click on them. And you'll see it doesn't go anywhere. But you'll also see that the uh, color changes to purple, which is also the default color of a link when it's been visited. And this is something we can change in CSS further down the line.